person, I mean. This is uh, obviously their lab. Uh, so yeah, let's have a chat with these guys. The reps that killed Marcus and Miraji, they'll be looking for you. You're a little late, detective. They've already found us. So why are you still walking around? Because we're all part of the same suit of cards, you know what I mean? Eldon makes mistakes just like any other... human. The difference is... The difference is your bastard doesn't like to admit it. No, he, he covers them up, pretends they're human, gives them a job at a stinking corporation, and then when they actually produce original work, he boots them out on the street. You're saying... you're replicants? We finally figured it out. Clovis helped us see the light. But that's ridiculous. Tyrell wouldn't design something like you. He wants perfection. I told you we were a mistake. Keep talking. Sometimes our memories are different from each other's. The implant process isn't perfect. We know, we've seen the studies. You can't always be sure exactly how the memories will play out in the subject's mind. We've got different recollections of our childhood. Explain that. Maybe one of you just forgot. If you can't trust your own memories, what's left that makes you human? Very interesting question. What are you doing down here? Eldon shafted us, so now we're returning the favor. We promised Clovis we'd be finished with this by the time he got back, so if you don't mind... Tyrell says the four-year lifespan can't be extended. Of course he's gonna say that, but he's wrong. Very wrong. We got the research right here that'll prove it. Is it... complete? Could you extend the life of a replicant right now? Well, no. The four-year limit is an integral part of every element of the replicant. Terrell's dictate was that every body part would fail, and only the designers of each would know exactly how it worked. Clovis has already unlocked the secret of the skin. That was Miraji. Sebastian and Chu, they'd know about the central nervous system and the eyes. A lot of retrograde viruses were built into the eyes. And Tyrell, he's got the basic DNA pattern information, but he won't just give it up. Did you tell Clovis all this? He didn't ask, he already knew. He knows all about you, too. Where's Clovis now? Gone to have a little heart-to-heart -heart with Eldon. He'll kill Tyrell if he gets to him. Isn't that just too bad? I won't shed any tears. Tyrell is killing us all. Four years isn't enough, is it? If Clovis snaps his neck, it'll be merciful and quick. That's a hell of a lot more than we've been given. It's a fair point, I guess. Especially from his point of view, or their point of view, I should say. What kind of deal did you have going with Runciter? Don't talk to me about it. That was Lance's stupid deal. We just wanted to make some extra cash on the side. That probably had something to do with you guys getting fired. I'm sure he wasn't too pleased. Since Eldon's such a pain-in-the-ass control freak. Did you meet Clovis through Runciter? It was all just a coincidence. Clovis set me up, didn't he? And he used my boss to do it. He's sharp, this one. No question. Tell me what you know. How about we trade? Our life for yours. Keep talking. Clovis has gone to see Eldon. But he might not make it. Still, the work will go on, with or without Clovis. Get us Terrell's files, the rest of the DNA data, and we'll help you. You want me to break into the Tyrell building for you? You're nuts. Defective, yes. Nuts, no. You need us, McCoy. We can serve up Goose's carcass on a big, oversized platter. Well, that sounds like a good idea to me. We're definitely not going to VK them, partly because we already know their um, reps, and obviously we're doing a, a sympathy run here. So, we shall do as they ask, we shall infiltrate the Tyrell building, and we shall steal the DNA material that we need, which is this way. Conveniently enough, there's an air vent here that leads us directly to... Yes. The lobby of the Tyrell building. 
So with it, very being quickly, being quick rather, and sneaky, we shall run to the elevator. Yoink! Steal the data. Well, run. Hey, stop! No, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to run. Run away. Nah, <laughs> nah. I think I got what you wanted from Tyrell's office. Check it out, bro. The little man with the big gun did good. A bargain's a bargain. You said you'd give me Guza. It's all right here. Your boss is a real piece of work, let me tell you. Almost as good as Tyrell. Take a look. That probably had something to do with you guys getting fired. Guza had his fingers in as many rancid pies as possible. He was insatiable. He sold police equipment, ripped off criminals, and he even killed. And here were documents that proved it all. Depositions, photographs, video discs. It was the complete file on Guza, the dirty cop. Where'd you get this? From Clovis. He told us to hold it for him. Come to think of it, I'm not sure you're supposed to see it. You want to give it back now? Not a chance. Let him have it. Clovis said he was finished with the policeman anyway. A little light started to flicker in my brain. Guza was the one measuring me for the frame. When my stomach stopped churning, I realized I had everything I needed to force the bastard to play ball with me. I knew that he would listen to reason if applied with serious pressure. All I needed to do was call him. So yeah, it really, as it turns out, Guza really is a nasty piece of work. So let's do as we say and set up a meeting with him. I believe we can use the phone that belongs to the twins in their apartment up here. Have we got to take this fat bastard out? Oh, we've got to turn that off too. That's better. It freaks me out. Besides, we don't want that going on when we're on the phone. So yeah, we've really got to take this fat bastard out. He's awful. Awful, awful man. He's got to go down. Yeah? Been messing with people's lives lately? McCoy, where the hell you been? We've been looking all over for you. Yeah? Am I wanted dead or alive? You don't know what you are, kid. You can sell that replicant shit to everybody else, but I ain't buying. If you're so clean, let's put you on the machine. That'll decide once and for all. I'm through listening, Guza. Now it's your turn. I've been doing some investigating on my own. Came across some prime sources. You know what I'm talking about. Those little illegal weapons deals with Ezo. You were raking in the chinion, selling LPD wares to scumbags and reps. Oh yeah. The department's gonna eat it up when they hear just how deep that corruption goes. That's a load of crap. Let's hope for your sake Bryant and the Brass feel that way when I lay this file on them. Otherwise, it's a one-way ticket to the off-world penal colony, fat man. What do you want, McCoy? Remove the frame, clear my name, and get that guy out of my apartment. I want my life back. I can't do that. You better start finding a way, because I got another call to make. Okay, okay. How do we work this out? We can't talk over the damn phone. The sewers. I know you want to be comfortable, and I figure it's kind of like your second home down there. The bottom of the old elevator, there's a gate. Past it, there's a chamber. It's got a round platform. Yeah, I know it. Be there, alone. You better hold up your end, or Bryant gets it all. Okay, so we've set up a meeting in the sewers with the fat man, which is where we shall head now. But it's going to be more than a meeting, folks. We're going to put a bullet in his brain. Maybe a couple, just to be sure. He deserves it. Did you get that asshole out of my apartment? It's cleaner than when you left it. My dog? Yeah, yeah, your pooch is there too. that everything I need to clear me? I gotta tell you, kid. Those inset photos look pretty real. Let me guess. Clovis gave them to you. It must seem pretty gullible, but he sounded on the level. 